The Multiple Selection Deck is a brand new release of mine and I'm very excited to be presenting it to you. It manages to bring a piece of magic that working professional magicians would usually use to close a close-up show and it brings it to the ability, the performing ability of absolutely everyone. If you've never handled a deck of cards before, you're going to be able to duplicate what these sleight of hand guys can do and you're also going to be able to do it in a cleaner, fairer fashion. They are not able to replicate what you do exactly using just sleight of hand. That's what makes this great. We're going to have six cards chosen out of a deck. They're going to be shuffled together. They're going to be pushed back into the deck with absolutely no control on your part. Those cards are genuinely lost in there. You're going to reveal them one at a time in sequence in ways that grow. The first revelation is strong, but they get stronger and stronger and stronger right up until the end. And you don't even have to do a single move. If you can just push over the top card of the deck like this, then you can do this entire routine. So I'm very proud to bring you the multiple selection deck. Okay, so here we are. Normally magicians would just have one card chosen and, and found. You might have seen some of the other guys do that kind of thing. Uh, this is going to be six times harder than that and therefore six times less likely to work. But we're still going to try. Excellent. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, with the pack of cards, we'll give them a quick shuffle up first of all. And uh, we're going to have... Uh, Lucy, would you call stop first of all for me? Stop. Now this is going to be your card. Uh, everyone else is going to see their card, but I'd like you to cover that with your hand. And we'll come back to that later on. We're going to do that okay. very, at the very end. Sorry. Okay, Jude, so call stop for me. Stop. Now that's going to be your card. You. Take that, check it out, make sure it's all all right. Yeah. yeah, and remember it if okay. you can. Sir, would you call stop for me? Stop. Excellent, that's your card. Take that and check it out. I won't look, I promise. Call stop, stop for me. Excellent, take your card. Remember it, excellent. Stop. Excellent, that's yours. Perfect. And last one. Stop. Excellent. Check them out, make sure you remember them. The end of the trick does have a bit more of a <laughs> kapow moment about it, that's excellent. And once you've remembered them, uh, we're going to take all the cards back. So can I take yours? Can I take yours? Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And Lucy, would you like to shuffle those up? Shuffle them all together. Excellent, to make my job even harder. And then, would you push them into different parts of the deck? I'm going to turn away so I can't see, but you can just put them anywhere you like. Just anywhere in the middle. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. Excellent, are you done? No. No, oh, all right. You really are making this difficult. All right. I can't get in. <laughs> You're all right. Don't look. All right, well, that's all right. <laughs> Excellent, okay, so what we're going to do is hopefully scoop all of these up and we're going to try and find your cards, not only find your cards, but also in order, working back around. I know, it really does seem unlikely. It seems even more unlikely now I'm thinking about it. Uh, well, we're going to find yours first of all. I'm going to try and find it behind my back. No peeking, you guys, uh, to try and find it. Uh, this really is complicated, but I think... Uh, no. Ooh. Um... Sorry, I was somewhere else there. What was your card? Nine of Clubs. Yay! Excellent. <laughs> we did find it. That's good. Okay. Everyone's having a happy moment. Uh, Rupert, we're going to try and find your card next. I think it's right about here. <clears throat> Drum roll. Was that yours? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you don't even seem surprised. Tough no, crowd. All right. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Um, what was your card, Rebecca? King of Clubs. The King of Clubs. Watch very carefully. Give the deck a little twist, and hopefully, one card right in the centre should. Well, not quite in the centre, but where, you, where it went back, the King of Clubs. That was your card? Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. What was your card, sir? Do you remember? The uh, Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades. I think I have that in my back pocket. I don't know how you chose the Queen of Spades. That's completely <laughs> mental. Um, and what was your card, Jude? Queen of Diamonds. Uh, now, I didn't have the Queen of Diamonds, but I found a uh, blueback card that I had in my pocket before we started, and that was the Queen of Diamonds. That's pretty weird. Uh, but it wasn't your one. If it was your one, it would have been red on the back, and then... Ooh. That would have been what? yours, so that would have been excellent. <laughs> All right, so we found five cards, which means that, Lucy, we've just got your card to go. Yeah. You don't know your card yet. No. We're going to make this as fair as possible. I'm going to turn away. Then I want you to look at your card, and I'm going to spread the cards behind my back, and you can put your card back anywhere you like. Okay. Could I be any fairer than that? No, that sounds no? fine. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to turn away, have a look at your card for me, and then put it back anywhere in the deck. Excellent. What? Hey, there we go. Is that your card? Yeah, that was perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.
Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so we're going back to the group hug. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah!